Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints. Okay, so this is video six in the series of videos about how I set up my Wacom tablet properties. Okay, so here we, in the previous video, we learned how to, to create shortcuts. And this is our map for setting up our express keys. Now at this point, I have clicked on default, which returned the keys to their default setting. And I think I mentioned somewhere in one of the videos that these default settings are really set up for Photoshop. So you may want to leave that as is if you're a Photoshop user. And you want to set up your express keys now specifically for Painter. So to do that, you come into the Applications area here and you click on the plus. Now, if you have Painter open in the background, which I do, uh, then <clears throat> Painter will show in this list. And this is the easiest way to select the application. So you just click on that and say, OK. If it was not open in the background, you would have to go to where the AXE file is and click on that file. So if you want to set anything up to be specific to a specific application with your Wacom properly, properties, go ahead and open it before you click here. OK, so our first one is delete let layer contents, which is control A and backspace. So we're going to click on this down arrow next to the express key, which is the top one. You can see that it's pointing to the top one there. And you have all of these things that you can use. Some of them are specific, you know, like touch on off. You don't have to do anything, but just click on that and it programs it for touch on off. What we're going to use mainly is keystroke and modifier. So we click on keystroke, and then it's just a matter of going Control A and Backspace. Um, now, once again, I'll tell you that if you hit if you just hit something wrong and you want to delete it, you can't hit the delete key because that will just you know do the delete. But you can delete here, and that will delete the last one that, uh, the last entry that you had. If you click on clear, it will clear it all. So let's go ahead and put them back in. Control A plus backspace, and you always want to name it. And this is delete layer contents, but I know it, what it means, so I just put delete contents. And we say OK. Now in the next one, we wanted to set up uh, Save Variant. So we go to Keystroke again. And if you remember, this was Control um, Backward Slash. And it was Save Variant. And OK. The next one down was Export Workspace. And it was shift uh, backspace or <laughs> backslash. Um, and this would be export workspace. And we say OK. And then the last one on this side is a keystroke and it's tab. And that hides panels. And we say OK. Over on this side, keystroke, control, alt, one. That is the shortcut for the temporal color palette. Not paletter, palette. We say OK. And the next one, keystroke, is Shift S. And that is the toggle between main slash additional. And we say OK. The next one is modifier, but it's going to be Alt Control. And we say OK. And then the last one is also keystroke. And it's Control Y, which is Redo. And we say OK. 
Now, I have set up my uh, express keys. Let's check them out. So we'll minimize that for the moment. And um, let's go ahead and delete all these layers. And I'm in the canvas layer, so I'll use one of David Gel's brushes, a Sumanangashi brush. I love those brushes. This is black, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> And I'm going to hit the first express key, which is delete contents. And there you go. It deletes the contents of whatever layer is active at the time. And if I hit the second one down, aha, I get to save the variant. Yay. And if I hit the third one down, look at there. We've got uh, the export workspace. All right. It worked. I was afraid it wasn't going to work. And if we click on the next one down, we get hide panels. The next one down is the temporal color palette. Look at that. And while it's open, if you don't change the color, the next one down will switch you back and forth. And if you look up here, it'll make, uh, you know, the, the pink the main color, now the, the black the main color. So it's the toggle be between main and additional color. And then the last one, uh, no, not the last one, next to the last one, is this and when you hold down the the fourth toggle which is the one that is the dynamic brush selector and you keep you have to have your stylus touching the the tablet you can uh, change the size of the stylus on the fly now if you go back over here and click on the alt control again that will change this to opacity so you can change the opacity of the brush click it again and you have squeeze you can change the squeeze and again you can change the angle that the brush is working for okay and the minute you pick up then all of those uh, settings have taken uh, effect. Ooh, that's really pretty. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to reset the brush. All righty. Now, uh, let's see. What is the last one is redo. So if I undo, I can redo. Undo, redo. Yay! Okay, that's the express keys for uh, the uh, for painter and these are the ones that I am going to use remember these are personalized to me it's important I can show you how to set them up but it's important that you decide what uh, what express keys will be best best for you according to your workflow okay bye bye I'll see you back here in a minute for the next part which I think will be the touch ring Bye-bye.